Welcome to the introduction to module four, Functional Pilates Programming in Pelvic Health. This module may be taken as a standalone module on its own, or you may wish to take it as part of the full Pilates in Female Pelvic Health course and qualification. This module will be a combination of both theoretical presentations and practical workshops to really help to develop and consolidate your understanding and learning about functional Pilates exercise, why it's important and how it can be applied in the female client, particularly those who may have pelvic health dysfunction. At the end of the module, you will be expected to complete uh, a, very sh a very informal um, assessment process, which will include a couple of case studies linking back to the knowledge, no knowledge that you have hopefully developed throughout the module. So just looking at the course content, um, we'll be looking at the private client. Um, so the client that you would see on a one-to-one -one basis, and we'll be looking and discussing what the needs of that client may be. What are their goals? Where do they want to be? What are their concerns? Um, and how we need to be really formulating a, a thorough sort of assessment in regard to what that client wants from you. Where do they want to be? How they want to progress? Um, because it's, it's a really important part of our Pilates teaching in, in terms of progression and where we're going from an exercise and Pilates programming standpoint. So we'll be looking at functional exercise. What is functional exercise and why is it important? How does it apply um, to the female client? And again, looking and linking into how it applies in, in women who have pelvic health issues. We'll be looking at the precautions and contraindications to functional exercise when a lady has pelvic health concerns. So we'll be looking at the screening process, uh, what signs and symptoms we need to be looking for that could be a little bit more concerning, who we need to refer to, um, establishing links with other health professionals um, who may be more appropriate than ourselves at this current time. We will be undertaking a practical workshop which will look at how we can modify and progress exercise from a functional level to suit our clients who have pelvic health dysfunction. We'll also be doing a couple of different practical workshops looking at certain client groups. I have um, chosen the postnatal client and I've also chosen um, the client who wants to run or wants to return to running um, because I feel that these are two areas which are very commonly um, discussed and um, are concerns amongst the, 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 these particular client groups in regard to their pelvic health and, and how they can move on in terms of um, the exercise that they're doing. So we'll be looking at different exercises that may or may not be appropriate for these client groups, how we could regress and progress in terms of our um, exercise um, and uh, programming. We'll also be looking at high intensity interval training with Pilates. So it, it's a bit of a, um, a, a trend at the moment, um, but something that I feel is really relevant to be talking about at the moment, because a lot of ladies who we see want to do cardio. They want to feel hot. They want to feel sweaty. They want to feel out of breath. They want to feel like they're working hard. Um, and sometimes I think people can be a little overcautious in how they are delivering exercise strategies to ladies, um, particularly ladies of a certain age, um, and perhaps women who have signs and symptoms that maybe before you didn't understand a great deal about. So it's useful to see how we can bring other forms of perhaps more intensive uh, Pilates training in with this client population. So as mentioned, we'll be looking at various case studies to demonstrate your learning. We'll also be looking at reflective practice as the module goes on. So at the beginning of the module, we'll be looking at where you currently are. We'll be looking at where you want to get to, where you want to be from a development perspective. And we'll be looking at the various steps that you can then take to get to where you want to be at the end. Um, so student reflection throughout the, this module is something that we strongly do encourage. 
So the aims of this module, we want you to be able to really develop your expertise as a Pilates practitioner by the end of this module in regard to other types of exercise um, from a Pilates perspective still, but just thinking a little bit outside the box. So thinking more functionally, how we might be able to progress women to achieve certain goals with our Pilates programming, bringing in more cardiovascular work, uh, which again is really relevant and really important um, as part of female health in general. So we want to be able to develop your ability to recognize contraindications and precautions, how to screen these women and when to refer should you feel like that you need to. We want to in really provide you with a toolbox of exercises as well. So by the end of this module, you should hopefully feel like you've developed in your repertoire and in your exercise uh, toolbox. And you can go out and you can use these exercise strategies straight away with your classes and your one-to-one -one clients um, and feel that you're really, you've really moved on in terms of how you develop your programs for your, for your clientele, particularly in regard to pelvic health dysfunction. So I'm very excited to deliver this module and I look forward to cracking on with you uh, very soon.